we're gonna be talking about today. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna start saying something. So for anyone that does not know me and nor this Mustang, well, I'm gonna be talking about it today. And so first of all, I'm gonna start off like what I said last episode was that I rebuilt this whole car and I did not, um, I did not buy it like this technically, you know? I bought it like, I got it off of Watsonville. It was a barn find and I got it in Craigslist and so it took me about two years to finish this car. And let's see. So let's start off by the hood. So this is my engine. And there's all the work I put into it. I built this engine as well. So, so technically this is a rebuilt engine. We cleaned out the whole engine. So it probably has a thousand miles right now. And um, so what's going on here is that I have a two barrel with a 302 small block. Yeah, you guys might hate me because I got 289 manifold on it. You guys are car, car guys, you guys will know it. So as we go on further with this, I got if I got a new cylinder, brake cylinder, and then a brake booster with it. With um, so for my brakes, I got um, four piston brake calipers. So it's not two no more, it's just four. And so far I've been working mostly on suspension and how to keep the car from having um, handling problems because I'm trying to track it later and you probably guys see that in the next, not next episode, but probably in further episodes, you know what I mean? And I'm trying to track this car and what's going to be going on is that right now I'm doing suspension. So in, on the suspension I got 650 pounds and it's a grab a track suspension with a one inch and one fourth sway bar. So this thing stiff as fuck, ah, you know what I mean? So, don't not say that's what she said. That's pretty fucked up. Anyways, so, as we get going in the rear, I got a 50, 155 pound um, suspension on it. And maybe you can see the gas tank back there. I'm not sure if you can, but it's a new gas tank because the other one was corroded as well. And, oh yeah, check out my new rims too. They're fresh, you know what I mean? I got these, these are um, Mickey Thompson Sportman STs with 295s, 50s on the rears and 245s, um, 60s in the front. So it gives it that stanced, um, stanced level on that car, you know what I mean, on the frame. And as we go back, I kind of fixed I kind of did a little deluxe gas cap because you know, four people will know these do not come with deluxe gas cap. They come with more of a the um, twist kind, you know? And um, so this is not a finished car, but it takes, it'll take me a time because these cars usually never finish. As people say, they never finish when you want to add stuff. And probably the, I've done to it was interior as well. And yeah, this um the interior I got it from this guy from downtown San Jose. And his name's Noah, but I do not know his shop what it was called. I kind of forgot. But I got these um small side mirror race cars, race car side mirrors, what they used on the Trans Am. And that steering wheel though. That steering wheel, let me go to the other side real quick because and go in the car and put it out. So, um, this steering wheel, it's a quick release with the, the driven steering wheel. Let me just pop this out, that way you can see it better. And this is how it looks like. Can probably not show the brand because they probably tell me something, but it's a quick release from blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and I probably, I put a, RPM gauge as well because as you can see this car does not have an RPM gauge on it and then probably I'm going back to engines 
talk about more of my transmission because I kind of went off topic on that. And so the transmission I got in there is a four speed top loader. It's one of the Trans Am what they use on racing. So it has a, it's, it can handle, they say it can handle around like 550 horsepower on, on the transmission. So it wouldn't make no problems with, uh, with the cam, cylinder heads, and a new manifold from the brand because I can't really say it brand right now. And um, I could, I, I'm gonna install a turbo maybe later. If not, like I said, I could put my big block Cobra jet engine. It's a 460 7.5 liter that I could make a 535 stroker. I'll probably talk about that later since my engine's at home and this engine I have right now. And so, as I keep talking about it, let me start thinking what I, what else I put on it. So, I could say I put on that lip though. That lip is lit. And, um, oh yeah, the paint job. I did not do the paint job, but I did sand off all the surface rust and it was terrible, man. It was like crazy. Like this thing had me dying, lung pumps and anything, dude. And um, so yeah, so after I sanded that whole thing to bare metal with my hands, which kind of hurt a lot, I primed the whole car with um, this primer, you know, car primer where you get the gun, you prime it the whole thing. And probably, um, after that, we sent it to paint, and it came out gorgeous, you know? And um, don't worry about the dirty car. It was raining like two days ago, so I don't really have the time to wash it. And this is vinyl top. It's not part of the paint, because most of the people are like, what the, it's, it's paint. I go, oh, shit, it's vinyl top. So it's kind of like, oh shit. So, um, well, there's about my car, and I guys gave you a good, quick look on how my car is actually, actually is, and I told you guys I was gonna bring it up later. Mm. Well, there's a little extended clip, so whoever sees this got a thumbs up for it, and you guys would like to give me a thumbs up and subscribe on the link on top. Oh shit, well, on, on YouTube, that, that subscribe button on the top left, and, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a great day. Peace out.